In today's video, we're going to talk about something really serious in the garden, squash bugs, and how we can take care of this problem with a very simple tool. I mean, seriously, guys, if you are not killing squash bugs with max $5 pair of scissors, you're doing it the wrong way. Super easy, super cheap, super safe. The only thing it costs you is your time. And if you're not walking your garden at least once a day, preferably twice a day in the morning and the afternoons, you need to start doing that anyway. So always carry your scissors with you because the squash bugs are out. My goodness, guys, I came out here and saw what every gardener hates to see. Look at that. You know how we handle this? You know how? We handle this madness. Wait, I can't even see it. Like good I'm doing, huh? Y'all see that? This is how we handle this. Which is really gross. They are mating right now. So, let's see if I can. This is how I organically handle this. I cut them. Cut them in half. They die. They're not getting away, and this is a thing. It's very fast, and okay. so that is how I do it up here on the bed. That's how I do it down there, and I take a pair of scissors with me. And most people pluck them and squish them with their fingernails, and I hate doing that. Which I'm gonna now go through my leaves, and I do that with like eggs. So if I find eggs on there. I will but the squash bugs themselves just take you a pair of scissors with you all the time and when you see one you just that's how you take care of that no pesticides no spraying which on your porch you can easily look for those and hopefully I got them before they were laying eggs now I have to go investigate all of my plants and flip them under and make sure those were some pretty good size adults and so if they are up here, they're definitely down in my bottom garden. So I'll check that too. Now I'm going to investigate all my stuff. Okay, so now that those bugs are gone, and I kind of blame myself, I let the zucchini and the squash, and of course they attack zucchini plants too, squash family, anything in the squash family. So you are talking about pumpkins, any type of pumpkin, any type of squash, zucchini, uh, anything that pretty much grows like these plants, those squash bugs are going to show up. Um, and part of the problem is probably because I stopped trimming them and I really should have kept going. I should have gone through here and trimmed them up more. And because they're not, you know, they're planted pretty densely, they're producing. But because I haven't gone through and, and clipped lately, um, that allowed for them to kind of get in there but if I hadn't equipped before and it was just really super crowded I probably would have missed them and it would have been too late so now I'm going through and I am trimming there's another one of our helpful pollinators so that one I've actually seen going through the bean plants so, and look oh look y'all that's the first bean I've seen from there yeah so um but that's what I'm going to do now is trim out the squash plants. Everything I'm trimming is what I call non-supportives. So these are the pieces that are just up in the air. They're not holding the plant up and they're not helping to balance the plant. So those are the ones you want to get rid of. So take you a couple of tries uh, to figure out what works and what you need to let go, what you need to keep. That's okay. That's part of gardening. We're all learning all the time. It's going to the compost. So all of this is compostable. It's going to go back into the soil, make us new soil, and compost. Okay, another thing I want to point out is that they love. Well, you can't see. 
Uh, squash bugs love to hide on the soil. They are camouflaged to match the soil on purpose so they f for birds and stuff. So when the birds try to get them, they fall off and then they just sit there on the soil and it's hard for and they don't move. And it's hard for the birds to catch them. So they're my little friends. Got one right there and one's in that squash flower right there. Hold on. See if we can see him. It's gonna come out. Oh, if I can get the camera to focus. I can't get the camera to focus. Of course. Yeah. Anyway, she's in there. Can you focus? Yeah. Okay. Um so they will just fall right there and hide. So if you find them and they kind of disappear on you, look around the soil at the bottom. They're usually there and then just dip them. So now I've kind of cleared out this area so I can see better. Better airflow, remember, we don't want diseases. And um, we can have a visual, a better visual at the bottom of our plants. So that's what you want to do. Now we're going to go check the bottom garden. So we're coming to the bottom garden and we're going to check it out. I have not, oh my god, the hawks are going off today. Um, I have not trimmed these bushes in a while. So I'm expecting to find some bugs, possibly some eggs. Squ uh, the squash bugs just seem to show up anytime it gets really hot. And I really don't think that I can avoid them. Uh, not where I live. And so we use no uh, pesticides on our garden. Uh, the only thing we use is diatomaceous earth that I'll sprinkle on the um, ground. And I will use a natural uh, pest repellent that is neem oil. I will do those on my beans when they start to grow. All right guys, so this plant, it did have one on it. Um, I cut it and then I actually found some eggs. So that right there is the eggs. And I go ahead and squish those with my fingernail and then I will take this one out. I'm not gonna cut off any important limbs, of course, I need those, but I am going to, um, if it's not important, cut, go ahead and cut it off and then squish them. Okay, so that's a zucchini. This is a yellowneck squash. So, um, I have noticed that on zucchinis, they don't particularly like to lay eggs on the underneath and i think it's because it's super rough and kind of pointy and on squash it's not and they prefer to lay underneath on a squash leaf so i actually um i turn both of them under just in case i'm wrong about my little theory there but um i definitely turn over each of these okay so yep it was actually on the last leaf that i pulled forgive my yucky fingernails i haven't had time to do it again uh, that was a question. How do you have really good fingernails and you do all of this gardening and stuff? And how do you get your fingernails done? Well, I do them myself, guys. So, um, it's actually a kit that you can buy. Um, and I do my fingernails myself. So, that's why my fingernails are always done. But, there you go. So, I'm going to squish those. Clip this one off. It wasn't important. Alright, now it's compost time. It's so hot out here, guys. It's so hot. Labor of love right here. I had somebody ask me, I was like, gardening's so hard, and it's so expensive, and yes, I'm going to say yes, gardening, uh, hard, yes, I mean, it's physical work, I mean, I'm burning up, I'm sweating, like, it's nasty, it's hot, but it's very, very important for me to get those bugs out before they do a whole lot of damage that I've worked weeks to achieve, and... Bam. Yes, I got stuff growing in here. I'm not really sure. I thought they were pumpkins at first, but now I do not believe so. They were kind of looking more like um, watermelon, I think. Like a watermelon seed. Oh no, there's a bug I missed. Y'all see that? Oh, I see him. I'm freezing. Because he will get out of here and go to my garden. Oh, I will find you. I will hunt for him because I don't need it going back to my garden. He will not get away. Alright. You'll probably think I'm some crazy maniac. I'm digging through my compost. 
I can't even see anything through the compact I'm way over there. So I gotta make sure that I got it. Okay, y'all are probably thinking that this is really stinky, and actually this compost has absolutely no smell. Coral comes and turns it over. Um, and then if you have healthy compost and you have your worms in here working for you, it doesn't smell, guys. That's why a lot of people are against compost. They think it's going to smell on them, and it's not. Not if you're doing it right. I need to do a video on compost. It's really not that hard. I think a lot of it, people make it harder than it really is. So, but it's not. I can't find him. So he gets away today. But I will be back. Yeah, but I thought I'd show you these cool little sprouts right here. And I'm trying to think of what that could be from. Pepper. I guarantee you that's peppers. Hey, we'll come out and get it. I've actually the pumpkins that are out in the garden, the the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, they're from a pumpkin that got thrown in here last year. That's how long the seeds lasted and sprouted and I used them. So if those were peppers, I am totally using those seeds because y'all know my pepper issue this year and so there's been several times i've actually come out here and i've dug up the plants so that will be a plan right there because i'm pretty positive those y'all let me know what y'all think they are and look at that look at that seed that's a pepper seed guys <gasps> got me some peppers coming it's already so i get so excited about the littlest things but it makes my life happy so Okay, so we're done. Now that I'm nasty and hot and sticky and just gross, uh, but positives. Okay, so it was hard work, but positives. I killed most of the bugs. I lost one. I'm, it's not over. It's not. He's going to be found. I'm going to get him. So uh, I got to trim up my squash, zucchini, pumpkins, butternuts, all of those. Got to hunt for them. Got a lot of the seeds out. I even found some more seeds in when I dumped them in the compost, so got those, um, positive, I got some peppers coming, y'all, so that's exciting, so I got to find those in the compost bin, gonna let those grow, so we'll update on those and see if I can't repot them and if they make it, so that'll be awesome, um, but, and hopefully you learned some stuff <laughs> as you followed me, and so, very important, very cheap, get you a pair of five dollar scissors, Okay, make sure they're a good brand. And you get to use them for all kinds of stuff in the garden. Keep them in your little totes. And that's a way that you can safely remove squash bugs and still protect your plants. So, thanks for following me on my adventure, guys. Bye.